Hey traders and investors, Tyson Clayton, Market Traders Institute here talking about volatility. Now I love talking about volatility because as a trader, we need volatility to make money. Some traders are afraid of volatility. I love it, right? Because it means prices are moving and that's what we need to make the most amount of money. Now there's a few ways that I measure volatility, a few ways that you can measure volatility utilizing some of these tools in the charts like ATRs, average true range, Bollinger Bands, maybe even moving averages. We're gonna go into these a little bit. Let's go through my three favorite. Let's start with ATR. Now ATR stands, as I mentioned already, stands for average true range. I'm going to give you a, a real easy, simple example of this. Let's say over the last three periods, right? Any periods, let's say the prices are 100, 200, and 300. And I'm using a three period average true range. Well, what it will do is it will essentially add those up, which comes to 600 and it will divide by three and it will give me my average price of that over that three periods of 200. Now, this is an important measurement of volatility because it tells me, well, what is the average movement that something should have over a certain period of time? And the ways that we can use this as traders is we can plot an average distance something moves. For example, let's say that this moves 200 points in any certain time frame, and over the next time frame, it moves 1,000. Well, guess what? That tells me that volatility is starting to come in big time into the markets, and I want to look for that volatility to take advantage of it and make some money. So that's ATR. That's the way we use ATR. So we look for those expanded ranges. Same thing we do on Bollinger Bands. Now, this is one of my favorite volatility gauges because it's a great visual representation of what's happening in the market. Let me see if I can kind of draw this out. Bollinger Bands are essentially a volatility band. It kind of looks like a you know, really tight range and then it bulges, really tight and bulges. And it's based around a moving average. Now we've talked about moving averages in other videos before, such as simple moving averages. I'm gonna give you just a quick example. Let's say price, let's say this is a moving average. Let's say it's a moving average, it's a 21 day average price, right? Of whatever, of some, of the dollar yen. When we plot Bollinger Bands on there, Bollinger Bands will essentially have a band above and a band below that will hug price. And when the volatility is low, so when we go into a period of consolidation, when the volatility is really low and the market's not moving much, what will happen is the Bollinger Bands will start to tighten up. I call this the rubber band effect. It's almost like a rubber band. You take a rubber band and you spin it, you twist it, twist it. Eventually that rubber band's gonna, gonna snap, right? Well, this is kind of that rubber band effect. When we get those really tight Bollinger Bands around price, that's when we as traders start to get excited because low levels of volatility are followed by expansions of volatility. And when that volatility starts to expand to the upside like that, you'll see the Bollinger Bands bulge out like that. It's really, really great. It's a great indication on whether this is a good market environment to start to trade in. If the Bollinger Bands are bulging, you know that there's volatility in the markets and there's probably a lot of money to be made. Bollinger Bands are a great tool. Another really good tool that I love using is moving averages. In fact, more specifically, MACD, Moving Average Convergence Divergence. Now, I'm throwing a lot of terms at you, and I don't want you to get overwhelmed. We teach this in our live sessions, but the MACD, essentially what it does, it's kind of like that oscillator that we had talked about in other videos, right? Moves from levels of extreme highs and extreme lows, kind of goes in a wave-like format like this, right? But what it does is it takes the difference between two moving averages. For example, let's say a 14-period moving average and a 26-period moving average. It will take the distance between those and it will calculate this oscillation. That's called the MACD. And then there's something that's plotted on top of that called the signal line, which is essentially just an average of what the MACD has been doing over the course of, let's say, nine days. And that will help us get into trades and out of trades using that signal line. Again, there's a lot more to talk about with volatility. There's a lot of different things we can go into. These are three of my favorite ways to use volatility. ATR to figure out the average ranges, Bollinger Bands to see when we're in tight ranges or expanded ranges, and then moving averages, convergence divergence of the MACD to see are we actually getting bulges from the averages based on the spreads. Important stuff. Now, I don't want you to become overwhelmed. I don't want you to think that this is too complex. We teach you all this. We show you this in our live trading sessions, and I want to invite you to those trading sessions. You can click on the link below. Go ahead and sign up for one of our absolutely free trading sessions. And if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're going to keep you up to date on currencies, the stock market, cryptocurrencies, all sorts of stuff in the financial world. Hey, we'll see you in the trading room.